Welcome to the video, my friends. It's been a while. Daisy 1.17 has released, and Adam has done a blog post keeping us updated on what's new. To quote Adam, update 1.17 just went live on all platforms. While we're already hard at work on the next update, this article will elaborate on the most important aspects of 1.17. Our primary focus this time around was on the themes of accessibility and crafting. If you're interested in seeing a full list of the updated additions, changes and fixes, then head over to our official forums, which I will leave a link to in the description below as well as show on screen a quick little scan down. There's a lot of changes, fixes and of course new additions, craftable items and new items and uh, new ways to cook your items at base as well, which I'll show you in this footage and how to craft just like the good old days. Some of the key features that Adam points out in the blog post is new sensitivity settings, which offer players the ability to adjust the sensitivity of their controls in different scenarios, such as aiming, moving and steering. Another important part of the update is revised existing control scheme for controllers and console users, and the addition of an alternative control scheme. A large bug fixing pass on a variety of control related issues, which enables the team to resolve some long standing issues with the existing scheme. The team have also looked into VoIP and quality of life improvements to the UI, such as icons being shown only when transmitting while having the new voice activation mode enabled, and release delay for the push to talk mode, and the ability to change the VoIP distance on a controller. We have made changes within the action system and unified the way a player can switch between actions, so this will be like craftable items mainly, where you could craft multiple items from a certain items that you picked up, like sticks and rags and stuff. You'd have to tap F to change, I believe, through the items and then hold F to craft. Now you could just mouse wheel up and down and go back and forth between the actions and then hold left click to craft. Crafty survivors can now make an improvised gas mask filter from a water bottle, which actually looks pretty cool. A belt out of a piece of rope and a knife. A cookware stand using two short sticks and one long stick. And then you can attach this to a fireplace, which then you can use a cooking pot to hang onto this stand over your fireplace and boil your water or your food. There's also a new set of rag clothing that uh, you can wrap yourself up like a mummy. To craft the new improvised clothing, you will need six rags, a full stack of six rags to craft the torso and legs. And for the other extremities, just two rags to craft the headpiece, face piece, as well as the hands and feet parts of the improvised clothing. There are also 12 inventory slots on the torso and leg parts of the improvised clothing. Crafting a stone knife has been revised to small stones make a knife and you're still left with one stone and you can use that stone then to now craft the new bone knife using I believe two bones which you can of course get from players and animals around the world of DayZ and if you happen to have a long stick you can now craft a stone knife spear as well as a bone knife spear by just hovering over the long stick with the bone knife or the stone knife and holding left click to craft the spear with a nice attack animation added on as well. There's also some new non-craftable melee weapons that have been added, such as the meat tenderizer, which works as a weaker hammer, a cleaver, and a pitchfork, which has the same animations as the craftable spears, but it does look pretty nice and goes scarily well with the improvised mummy clothing. And as for weapons, we have a new selection of civilian firearms, and this includes the CR550 Savannah Rifle. Chambered in the powerful 308 round and is a hunting bolt action rifle, which takes the hunting scope as well. So you can go out and blast some people in the face long range. As well as the 308 Longhorn, which is one of my favorite all times, has come back to DayZ and the legendary P1 9mm pistol as well. As you can see on the screen here, just giving a little test out with the infected here running at me across the field. I think I attracted some attention firing off those 308s. 
There's also been a change to the way that gas masks work. They can now be refilled with charcoal tablets, but can also be damaged over time. Cookware gets slowly damaged when used, and heat sources such as torches, vehicles, and power generators will now increase a player's heat comfort. Only fireplaces were considered a source of heat in the past. And those are some of the key parts of update 1.17 to DayZ that has hit stable. What are your favorite parts? What's your favorite craftable? Your favorite new weapon? Let me know in the comments section below. I just want to say a quick huge thank you to those that have continued to support my channels, YouTube and Twitch, what I've been uploading and playing. I know I've took a bit of a backseat where the Daisy development and update videos are concerned as well as stories and PvP and stuff like that. I've gone to my backlog and uh, been going through the FromSoft series and I got addicted to Elden Ring and I have four kids and stuff like that. So family has been a, a big part of life. I am still keeping an eye on development of Daisy and I'll try and get these videos out when I can. So let me know in the comments section below if you enjoyed this video. These do take a while because I do like to put them out as high quality as I possibly can. They're not, they're not easy to make, so I have to try and find the time. But uh, let me know in the comments section below. Leave a like as well. Get this video out there. And it also lets me know if you, you enjoyed the video and you want to see more. Subscribe. And these will come out, but I will be doing other content still also because I'm enjoying other games. I've played Daisy for nearly 10 years, if not 10 years now. It's uh, It's been a while. And I played nothing but Daisy for, <laughs> for many of those years. So I'm enjoying playing some other stuff for a change. It's good for my mental health. Let's just put it that way. Anyways, I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time.